There's a 56-year-old company in Lambertville that Fortune's small business recently named one of the year's hot startups. What caught Fortune's eye is the company's homegrown technology for active ceramic fibers with special electrical and mechanical properties. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan has the story. If it's surprising to see ceramics come off the manufacturing line on spools of flexible fiber rather than rows of brittle pots, it can be downright shocking to learn what these active fibers can do, such as generating electric charge from a smack on the floor. The two-way action of these so-called piezoelectric fibers allows them to scavenge electrical energy from vibrations and also to exert mechanical force. If we put voltage into that, the fiber gets longer, and if that's attached to something that doesn't get longer in the presence of a voltage, it bends it. Uh, this little unit, uh, when, if fully energized, will push it about 60 pounds. Advanced Ceremetrics developed these fibers to dampen the vibration of helicopter blades, but they first hit the market in head tennis rackets that used the energy of hitting the ball to quell the racket's vibration, putting more power into the ball and saving the player's elbow. Head is also building smart skis around these active fibers. You say you're turning this way, this edge is bouncing up and down, that would compress this set of fibers, which sends a voltage pulse down to the microprocessor and the inductor and capacitor in the handle of, or in the uh, body of the ski. This is amplified and sent back to the fibers, which then elongate a half a phase off from the chatter, and it rolls the ski edge down. One of the industries this 56-year-old company has served is textile manufacturing, and there is a thread that connects its past to its future in active fibers. It's rayon. I came up with the idea of taking carbon fiber, which burns out in air as carbon dioxide and water, and coating it with a superconductor, which we did, and it successfully made superconducting tubes. So we were looking for a way to make a solid superconducting fiber, and we found that a lot of carbon fiber is made from rayon, and it turned out that one of our biggest customers was the largest rayon manufacturer in the U.S., and in fact, the largest carbon fiber manufacturer. So I came up with a concept to load their precursor material, which is a, a honey-like substance called viscose, uh, and uh, to load that material viscose up with our ceramic powder and then spin it as if it were rayon, and then burn the rayon out. An in-house team combining manufacturing know-how with ceramics chemistry, material science, and engineering developed the process, which has already turned out more than 30 different kinds of active fibers. When the, fiber, the ceramic fiber is made into a composite, you can get all the properties of the ceramic, the desirable properties, electrical, thermal, chemical, uh, mechanical, and you don't have any of the problems such as breakage or heavy weight. Future on the drawing board with research partners including Rutgers and Picatinny Arsenal include self-powered monitoring systems and guided munitions, imaging systems, and generic energy harvesting devices. Last summer we passed the threshold we were able to generate sufficient power to run low-powered systems from walking. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Lambertville. Voters across the state will be heading to the polls for local school board elections next Tuesday. 